Choo Choo is on the tracks, and I, for one, am really happy about it. But you've been brooding all day. I wish you would tell me why. Nothing, nothing. Everything's fine, really. And that's why you've disappeared to parts unknown again? Oh, you know me. I just get a little restless. Have to get out, get a little air. Listen, I gotta go. Go where? Where are you? I love you. Sure, just yet. They're ready for you. Good. Right this way. You know the drill. Laura, what are you looking for? Did you say something to you on the phone just now? It's not what he said. It's what he didn't say. Hmm. What does that mean? Uh, it's not him, Bobby. It's it's me. I just. I don't know, I guess I have this, this feeling, this um, apprehension, I guess, you know, right in the pit of my stomach. Oh, I think what you have is butterflies. No, Bobby, I think it's a little more than that. No, 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 I think you and Luke both have a case of pre-wedding jitters. My goodness, you're acting as if you've never been married before. It's not just how I feel. My new engagement ring is gone. The warden says thanks for the bottle of scotch. Mm -hmm. Tell him he's welcome, and the cigars I promised are in the mail. admit the timing surprises me a bit. Well, timing's everything to the incarcerated. Have you really missed me that much? Arranging this mysterious little tete-a-tete? -tete? You couldn't stay away, could you? I'm flattered. I was feeling a bit neglected. I'm feeling a bit neglected myself. Waiting for your next move. So what's it gonna be, darling? What are you after this time? It has to be here somewhere. No, we've looked every place it could possibly be. <sighs> well, you know, maybe it's not gone. Maybe you just misplaced it, you know? I mean, you are a little distracted because of the wedding. I know, I do have a lot on my mind, but it just... That still doesn't explain this feeling that I've got. Could you be overreacting? <laughs> well, yes, I suppose I could be. But I, I am not reacting to nothing, you know? And generally, my feelings are pretty accurate. Well, you know, then just keep in mind, it's just a ring. I mean, it's metal and stone. And you know what? Nobody's hurt, nobody's sick, nobody's missing. Everybody's fine. You're right. I and know. you know what? We'll find it. And if we don't find it, you'll buy another one or you could get another one custom made. I think Luke would be fine with that. I know you're right. You know, I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but we're so close to getting everything we ever wanted. I can't help but feel that something's gonna go wrong. That it's all gonna be snatched away from us, you know? And the scary part is that I think that Luke is feeling that, too. You are not afraid being alone here with a dangerous criminal like me? Afraid? No. I've always considered our time alone extremely romantic. Fear can be quite the aphrodisiac. Yeah, it's always got my juices flowing. <laughs> oh, you did miss me, didn't you? Tell me, how are the wedding plans coming? Oh, surely you 
You didn't imagine that I would try to interfere in any way. I told you I'm finished with that. Yes, you've told me a lot of things. Some of them, amazingly enough, were even true. Don't worry about the wedding. I'll send you an invitation as soon as they're back from the gravers. Believe me, I fervently hope that the wedding goes off exactly as planned. No, it'll be everything that you expect. The only mystery is why it hasn't happened yet. It's all that initial rush of excitement waning, the powerful passion dissipating. That could explain your presence here. You, you know me so well. <laughs> we are two of a kind, my darling. Two rats in a maze. But we've had uh, some fun now and then, haven't we? Now, my only regret is hearing you refer to it in the past tense. No, well, it's not all past. But there were some great times. I remember specifically uh, that time that I came onto the yacht in the middle of the night, found you alone in bed. Tell me more. What's to tell? I, there you were, I thought. I looked down at you, sleeping like a fallen angel. I wanted nothing more than to just slip under those covers and... Well, you know. Do you remember? Well, I think I do. In fact, I think I remember it vividly. <laughs> it was a fabulous night. Wasn't it? But when I got under the covers, you weren't there. Just a wig, some carefully placed pillows. Imagine my surprise when I turned around to find you behind me with that gleaming aluminum spear gun pointed at my chest. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> but it never happened. Not like that. Who are you? Who are you? Where is Helena?